So I just got finished setting up my work that I just made the video about. So now I have to pray over it and do the rest of the ritual. It's going to be all night. If you know me, I usually only work at night because my spirits don't like to be around in the daytime. So I'm cool with that. But anyway, <sighs> it's kind of terrible I even needed to make this video. I'm going to make it anyway. Okay, so some of y'all think I'm a bitch. I might really be a bitch. I probably am. I don't really fucking care. I curse in my videos. I keep it fucking real. I am not a horrible person. I'm just not going to bullshit you. I don't like that. I'm not going to bullshit you in a reading. I'm not going to go out of my way to hurt your feelings, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm a reader and a worker, so whatever that truth may be, if you don't like it, we can change the outcome, we can work on it, we can try to fix it. But anyway, my problem, and this is just not a tonight problem, this is just a recurring problem with some of you people, you don't fucking understand this. My channel and my videos, my work, these are not do-it-yourself fucking projects. When you email me or message me asking me how to do the fucking work, it's like, are you serious? You can't be fucking serious. A lot of y'all just do do-it-yourself fucking spirituality and you wind up fucking yourself up and then you do it for other people and you wind up fucking them up too and it's not cool. That's why I'm telling you, don't fucking email me. Don't ask me how the fuck to do work. How the fuck did I do this work? How the fuck did I do that work? I'm not being a bitch when I tell you this. I'm not going to be responsible for you fucking your life up or you fucking somebody else's life up. That's not fair. This is why when I do work for people, because I hate fucking sending shit to people so they can do the work themselves because they usually come back and they're like, oh my God, I did this, I did that. I messed this up, I did that. I didn't finish this. And then I have to go back and I have to correct it. So you're going to ruin your life over a few dollars because you want to save money. You don't want to pay a worker. That's cray cray. This shit is not do it yourself. It's not a pet project. It's not funny. Like I remember some of y'all were making Ezerly Freight Out fucking honey jars. What kind of shit is that? How do you fucking ask a spirit, God forbid, that you don't have a relationship with to do work for you? What the fuck is that? Who does that? Ezra Lefreda is not just going to pop up and do work for you because you asked her. Because you gave her some cheap ass candy. Come on, man. Seriously. That's how you ruin your fucking life. And that's how you ruin other people's lives. I've had people ask me, what's the strongest spirit you know that will do this? And I'm like, if you don't have a relationship with them... They're probably not going to do anything but fuck you up. That's extremely fucking cheeky. Like, think about it like this. If I run up to your door, I'm your neighbor. I run up to your door, knock on it, and I'm like, I need $100 to pay my electric bill. I've never met you before, but I really need it. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you help me? You know, no relationship. We don't fucking know each other. We're not friends. How'd you feel? That's how spirits feel. So anyway, please stop with the pet project shit. Please, God, don't ask me about what the fuck I'm doing in this video and how the fuck to do it. I'm leaving out ingredients and fucking ritual and a bunch of shit just for that. I'm not making do-it-yourself videos. You have like one, it's like tying up your man's nature and that's a super simple one. But even that one isn't complete because you motherfuckers don't know how to do shit responsibly. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm not going to be responsible for you fucking somebody else up either. That is like people who do free work and do free card readings. So they're calling on spirits and expecting them to work for free. So basically what they're doing is they're giving you a debt to that spirit. They're obligating you to pay that spirit. Isn't that stupid? That sound like fun? 
So y'all want to be obligated to spirits you know nothing about. You wonder why your life is messed up because you're trying to get shit for free. Come on now, seriously. You are letting people do work for you for free. You're letting them read tarot for you for free. That's really, really a great way to mess your life up. You're letting people that don't know what they're doing experiment on you. Even with free tarot readings, you're letting them practice on you. Think about that for a second. Think about how fucking absurd that is. <sighs> I want to turn my camera around and show you something. You see that nice lady, the purple lady with the whip? You know who that is? You probably don't know who that is, but guess what, boo-boo? That's one of my patron spirits, and she don't work for free. Dead don't work for free either. Nothing in life is free. Get it together. Thank you.